normally I'd say at this point, now we're alone, viewers, let me talk you through a couple of things that aren't right with my car, but I'm afraid I can't do that because everything in here works perfectly. There is, if you look in the left-hand dial, which is the rev counter, there's an engine warning light on to remind me that the engine warning light works. While we're alone, viewers, I'll be honest with you, I wasn't absolutely sure I'd make it in the Rolls-Royce. I always knew it was a gamble, and I was nervous about it all along. But look at this now. All still working perfectly. Since we're alone, viewers, and it's traditional for me to be honest at this point, I will say that the car feels a little careworn. The driver's seat smells funny, the fuel gauge doesn't work all the time, and neither does the temperature gauge. The radio only comes out of one speaker. The clutch judders, the wheels wobble. There are a lot of knocks and rattles. Amazing, really, because it's only done 23,000 miles. Right, now we're alone, viewers. I can reveal that that windscreen wiper incident is really a bit of an aside compared with some of the other problems that this car has. Most of these relate to the engine, in particular the way Lancia mounted the power steering pump on the end of one of the camshafts. Now we're alone, viewers, I can tell you that the Volvo is the best car here. Because let's not forget, this is a family estate. It's a family estate pretending to be a BTCC racing car. So it's compromised as well. It shouldn't be here, it shouldn't have got this far. But it is, and it has, and that's why I love it. Right, viewers, now we're alone. Look, that car should be the fastest up that course, but with the best one in the world, I'm not going to be. So, I've got a plan. English stick. Now we're alone, viewers. I can admit to one or two very small faults with my Cadillac. The first is that squeak, which is a loose belt or bearing or something. The other, it is fantastically slow, this thing. Now we're alone, viewers. I will admit I'm not feeling entirely confident about this. The 2.3 litre engine in my Mercedes is very robust. It will last for a thousand years, but it's not what you'd call powerful. I think there might be a few aerodynamic issues as well. But anyway, I'm going to go in D on the basis that Mercedes knows better than me. Now we're alone, viewers. Let me tell you a little bit about my car. And I know some of you are thinking, oh, that's just a Fiat Panda. And they're in South America. They're bound to be going over difficult terrain. Yes, yes, yes. But let me tell you this. What you need for serious off-roading is smallness and lightness. That's what I've got. This is a tiny car. It weighs 780 kilograms, a quarter of what Hammond's stupid monster truck weighs.